It wasn't designed to be a theory of cosmology initially. And also the motivations for the theory are interesting. And I, I mentioned at the start that um, I wanted to refer or, or read you something from A Brief History of Time, which had a very powerful effect on me. Um, this is a time back in the late 1980s when I was thinking about what I should do. Should I, I was a musician at the time. Should I give up the music and go to university and study physics? As I'd always, always wanted to study astronomy. Um, this book came out, and there's a piece of writing which is about the motivation um, or, or one of the first steps to general relativity that's always stuck with me because of the simplicity and the, and the sort of precise nature of the analysis of what goes into the, in this case actually thinking about space itself so the nature of space and following on from that the nature of time and the nature of space is a an interesting one. When I give public lectures, um, I often say that space, it seems to be a non-question. What is space? It is the arena in which things happen in the universe. Most people would picture it as, as a box um, inside which the, the, the events in the universe play out. Um, that is not the case, and the fact that it's not the case can be deduced almost from, from pure thought, or at least just one simple observation.